Due to the coronavirus pandemic, medical institutions around the world are in drastic need of personal protective equipment, such as reusable masks. However, due to the ill-preparedness of the world as a whole, these medical institutions have suffered severe shortages. It is crucial that these medical workers who are risking their lives on the front lines have access to personal protective equipment to keep themselves and others safe. One of the science teachers at my school has organized an initiative team to help combat this problem. We are designing reusable masks made out of 3D printed material. This means that mask production will not require large scale manufacturing. Since a mask covers majority of the face, hearing impaired patients find it difficult to communicate with their healthcare workers that are wearing the mask. So I've been tasked with designing a mask with a transparent front so that it can accompany hearing impaired patients. Now the first step to designing this mask is to start planning it. So the group over at amaskforall.com has developed a 3D printable reusable mask design that they plan to release and they also recently they, uh, they also released a press statement where they had plans for a transparent front on their mask in order to accommodate hearing impaired patients. So I'm drawing the front of the mask now, that's what the shape is going to be like, it's kind of wide. And then the, on the left corner, that's that's like the side profile, it's at 120 degree angle, you have the front and then the bottom side is going to be a breathing port plus the filter. And then the plastic piece for the transparency is going to slide in from the bottom and there are going to be loops all around the side for the belt slash strap. Alright, so basically I made these plates and I'm now going to just constrain them together. They're like shaped to kind of match the geometry that I want for the mask. Now that I have this basic geometry, I'm going to go through and make and finalize all the parts and have basically like improve the design from here. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Alright, update on the geometry. The last iteration was really blocky and geometric, so now I'm kind of redesigning the, um, the geometry to better resemble a mask for all's design. In this first iteration, I was just kind of attempting to make the design look good, not necessarily completely functional, which is why it doesn't have all of the features that I uh, wanted, but it mostly resembles a mask for all's design in terms of looks. Currently, the first iteration doesn't have all the functionality that it needs. In the second iteration, I'm hoping to add the plastic part that's going to slide in from the bottom, as well as the loops that are going to be used for the strap. In the first iteration, I use the same dimensions as a mask for all design, so in the second iteration, I'm going to try and widen the front. I think last time I focused too much on trying to make it look good before the functionality, so this time I'm going to put functionality ahead of looks. In the video that you're watching right now, I've already created all of the indi individual parts, and now I'm just constraining them together in an assembly. Okay, so in iteration 2, I I've added the functionality that iteration 1 lacked. So first of all, you have a breathing port at the bottom. Now this breathing port is attached via this little clip and these divots on the side. So you can easily slide it in and it will fit into place. This is also where you can attach the filter. I also added 
the parts where the the string or the band will tie in so these four clips all the way around and lastly i have a slot in the front for a plastic piece to slide in from the bottom so that that ensures that the front of the mask is covered but it's also transparent again so it can accommodate hearing impaired patients so those are all the changes changes that i've made in iteration two so obviously my mask design is not going to stop COVID-19, but it did show me that I can help change the world, even if it's just a little bit. Although scientific discoveries don't happen overnight, if we keep pushing and striving for change, change will occur, because as long as humans keep innovating, well, we can do anything. Thanks for watching.